of you guys, but we're going to start off with sort algorithms. So sort algorithms is, we're going to divide it up into uh, two parts, sort and algorithm. So let's talk about sort. So what is sorting? When do you use it? Like, what is sorting? I'm sure you guys seen it and used it before, right? What the, when do you use sorting? To be clean, yeah? When I sort my Legos, but it takes a lot of time. Yeah, you sort Legos. And what? why would you need to sort Legos? Because I can't find everything. Exactly. So, yeah? Sorting Yeah, organize. And the main reason to organize is to uh, help you find something really quickly. And so, organizing, we also follow a certain rule. Like for Legos, maybe you sort it by size and color. Maybe for something else. So, let's see. Let's talk about that. Sorting is actually used a lot in, for example, real life, like phone call, contacts, and computer files. In both of these, we sort alphabetically, meaning, you know, characters from A to Z. We also have game that's based off sorting as well, too. So I don't know if you guys know of a card game called Shichinarabe, which is a seven sorting game where you start from seven and sort the cards you have in your hand numerically. So that one, we're sorting by numbers. So when you're sorting, you need a specific key to sort. What that means is when you're playing cards, it's going to be by numbers. By phones, you're going to use alphabet. Oh, we're going to use the word string to talk about alphabets this time around. There's also another thing to consider in sorting, and that is the different ways we can sort. So you can sort ascending, which is from small to big, or descending, which will be the other way around, which will be from big to small. We're going to have a question on this on Kahoot later, so if you don't pay attention, you might not Get it? Again, we're going back. Why do we sort? The sorting is important because we need to look for something. And so we're going to be talking about this today, but we're going to do sort and search. And sorting is going to be a big factor and a really important part in how we're going to search things, all right? Now let's talk about the algorithms in sort. We know what sorting is. It's to find something. An algorithm, what is that? So algorithm is a set of guidelines that describe how to perform a task. It's kind of like you want to accomplish something, right? An algorithm is going to be a way to have a certain step-by-step -step instructions on to complete it. This guy, Billy, you guys seen this before? Yeah, it's uh, you guys, IKEA. Yeah, your parents probably use it, right? Make furniture. IKEA has an algorithm or step-by-step -step instructions to make something. This one is a home recipe for pizza. How do you make a pizza? You have a recipe, a step-by-step -step instructions to make something. So sort algorithms is going to be step-by-step -step instructions on how to sort or organize different ways computers use sorting algorithms. One really common way that we're going to learn today is called bubble sort. Bubble sort is going to be a way is in sorting algorithms, all right? Bubble sort. Oh, there's also selection sort, merge sort, quick sort. There's a bunch of different sorts. But today we're going to focus on bubble sort. Yeah. Oh, great. So now let's go into bubble sort, which was one type of sorting mechanism, uh, sorting algorithms. Yeah. And why it's called bubble sort, much like how a bubble in like a soda floats up. When we're sorting, all the sort of things that we're sorting is going to bubble up to the top. But basically, the numbers, like the tick, is going to be sorting, floating up. We're going to see more of this. Oh, here, okay. Yeah. So what is bubble sort? So the important thing about bubble sort is that we compare in pairs. So we compare one thing at a time. OK? And very simply, if they're in the wrong order, we swap the positions. So in this case, we're sorting short to tall. And they're in the wrong position. So we are going to swap. 
On the other side of things, if they're in the correct or right position, we are going to stay the same, all right? So here, they're already in short to tall. So here, they're into short to tall as well, okay? So it's really important that we keep com the comparisons in pairs. So I think you guys, some of, some of you guys, if you did the assignments, we have, yeah, so much like what we just saw, I'm also going to show you guys, again, what bubble sort would look like. But this time, I want you guys to focus on the pass and the comparison, the numbers of how many times we do, okay? So we are going to order or sort these four numbers in ascending order, which means from small to big, all okay? right? So let's start. Before we do anything, the comparison is zero and the pass is zero. Because we're gonna do our first start, we increase the pass by one. This is our first pass. And we're going to compare the first two numbers, right? Simple enough. And we're gonna compare in pairs. So just the 18 and nine. Which, are they in the correct position? Is this from small to big? Which one's bigger, 18 or 9? 18. 18. So that means they're in the wrong position. So we do a swap. And the number of comparisons we made increases by 1. The next numbers we're going to compare is the 18 and 0. Are they in the right order? No. So we swap. Did it swap? There we go, there it swaps. <laughs> now, and then the comparison is now two. We're gonna try again, but next time I'm gonna move the scope, move the two numbers we're looking at from 18 to one. They're in the wrong position, so we are going to swap. Comparison also went up to three. This was the first pass, right? We compared each of the numbers all from the start to end, and that's one pass. Are we done? Is this sorted? No. Nope. No, right? Once pass didn't help sort all of this. And so that means we need to do a second pass. So in pass two, we're going to do the similar thing. We're going to compare. And what happened was compare went four, and we swapped into the right order. We'll do it again. Went to five. Is it in the right order? No. So we are going to swap. We're going to compare again. Are they in the right order? Yes, so this is the first time we're going to stay the same. Now we're going to do another pass to just make sure, make sure everything's okay. Is it in the right order? Yes. Is it in the right order? Yes. Is it in the right order? Yes. So because all oh, Hold on, hold on. You, do you have to look at them? It's already sorted. Do you have to look at them? Uh, we, us humans, can recognize that it's already sorted, but a computer can't really tell what's going on. They need to see one by one. And as, as humans are able to understand a lot more complicated things than a computer can. And a computer needs to break down what we think is easy into really much more simple bits to understand. So that's why we need to do another third pass for the computer to really know that it's sorted. Does that make sense? Great. So now we can do a Kahoot. Oh no, it doesn't work. It's not working? <laughs> Day off for some that is a bummer. Yeah, bummer. We do, oh, we do that later. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. Well, try to remember what we just talked about. When Kahoot does work, we're gonna test you guys on it. All right. So now we will do playing cards. So um, to understand, we really want you to understand what we discuss. So we give you the playing card you guys have, right? Playing cards, okay? So shuffle the card and then pick five. Pick five cards and then turn over. Shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle? shuffle. Anybody have a card? Who's the best at shuffling? Can you change it? And then put one color check on right side, a left side, and then right side. Don't look at the card, okay? 
it's different from uh, animal stop the animal game because you cannot tell what's in there. Okay. Anybody need help? No. Okay. Let's go. So first, open up two cards on the on the left and compare the two. And then again, Mario said, remember what Mario said? If we a, is it right order? Look at this. Is that right order or is it wrong order? Yes? No? Yours might be, but it's this Yes, it's right here. No, it's here. Can you raise a hand? Yes, no. No, right? Because this is uh, small, this is big, and then this is opposite, right? So we don't have to swap. But if you look at your card, do it. Okay? Okay, and then close it again. Close. And then move the right hand, move the right one, uh, so left one. I get one here. And they do that exact same thing. So keep on doing it until you meet here. Okay, white cannot go more, so that's the one pass. Okay, remember that's the one first pass. Is finished. Okay? And then after first pass is finished, move the red one one more. One to the one to the left. And then bring the white one to the left most and do the exact same thing. That's the second pass that Mario was talking about. So that second pass is finished. Second pass is finished. Then you do the third pass. Again, move the red one to one, one left, and then bring the left most to the left most. And that's the third pass. So that's the <laughs> okay, and then fourth pass, and then and then you can turn over and make sure it's all sorted. Okay, I'm gonna assign you a task here. So just do it and then take a video. Help with your friends or. Um, your, your, your assistant, ask them to come, okay, what?